my soccer universe, this time from a different room, uh, but I decided to try to fix a few jersey numbers that I've been telling you about, uh, where stuff is broken. I got the ironing board out, I got the iron out, so let's see how it will go. So, our first patient here is Mr. Maldini, Milan 2002-03 away jersey. The problem here is, and I tried to fix this not very smartly, I bought a textile glue and I tried to glue the letters that were coming down until I looked around how to how do you fix this and all you need for that is a baking sheet that we will put over here. You need an ironing board and note here I put the shirt on, let's do it with the ironing board, put the shirt on, you basically dress the ironing board. Put it on as far as you can, that you get everything on the smooth surface. And then put the ironing sheet over, or oh, the baking sheet, not the ironing sheet. And now we'll take the iron. Everyone has a different one. The most important thing is pull it on the lowest setting. This one here says actually synthetic, synthetics, and then we'll turn it on, let it get warm, and then we will for a few seconds iron over this surface here. So let's see how this will go. It's already getting there, just a sec. You don't need to steam it in any way. Okay, here we go. So very evenly and the trouble is here, it's the kind of a big surface so you really need to very carefully try to get every angle with the point. Try to go exactly over the points because the, the parts that really go off, I mean here the letters here are really tiny. So here I want to put some extra pressure with the point. Make sure you don't let the iron fall onto the shirt. This is Unless it's covered by the baking sheet, you will have otherwise a very ugly ironing mark on there. And again, I'm putting emphasis on the edges. Try to not stay too long on one place. And we are done. Let's see, carefully removing. And yes, it is all still hot, but from what I can tell, everything is very nicely glued on again. So, um, this was now not the biggest patient. I will show you in a second a few more patients where I'm actually more curious how this will work. But to be honest, this is a very good way of really getting all those um, wrinkled numbers out. If they're coming down, it's a little bit harder to deal with them, but this is actually a very good first try. What this does, if you follow the wash instructions where you put that I have up in the video, um, in the playlist, you actually uh, can wear your names and numbers on shirts much, much more freak frequently. You just then need to iron it out again. And if you wash it in a net at low temperatures, you will be able to actually prolong their life. I still prefer shirts without numbers a little bit more uh, because you don't have that issue, but here's a way that you can actually take care of that. Let's look at a few more severe patients and see how that will work out. Okay, here is the next patient which has all kinds of other issues. That's my 2008 Austria home jersey which I bought, I think it was worldsoccershop.com and I got it not with the original print but kind of some cheap print which washes uh, off. If you look closer you can already see this is gonna come off so sooner or later. It's very cheap print. I'll have another jersey with a similarly cheap print. 
that yeah I honestly have to say there is not much uh, way salvaging that but what I want to fix here is uh, you see the Puma cat here maybe you don't see the Puma cat is really nicely peeling off I put a picture there and let me see if I can get closer here uh, I'll put it here to the camera so you here see the Puma cat but the nice thing is there are kind of the markings below of the glue that can be applied so this helps you guide on the Puma cat so let's put this on this is a little bit tricky I did this before I made the video I actually did it with this cat and we'll see how nicely it came on so I will uh, show you on the other side it's so basically the same procedure we again dress the ironing board and now since we will be working on the sleeve we need to kind of carefully put this here on the corner and put the board straight there again okay now the key is and here actually I think it's not a totally wrong idea I did it on the other side that if you have the feeling I had the problem when the tail came off and uh, it, I don't have the problem here so this is a little bit easier let me go into the uh, again but um, I had to fix the tail with a, just a teeny bit of glue that it stays in place and then you iron over here it is much easier because uh, that glue that's on there is still more sticky than the surrounding so all I need to do is is put this very carefully on there okay and then we'll do the same procedure we'll put now over and the other thing that's a little bit uh, bothersome with this shirt is that it's kind of this uh, two-layered mesh uh, which on the shoulders unfortunately doesn't do much in, in, anyway so if uh, the heat it does not from all of all I can see but if it would actually melt those two together for this little shoulder panel I actually do not care all that much so let's put this over and I'll take the iron again uh, this is a much thicker plastic so I have to apply a teeny bit more pressure and be a little bit longer on there but I saw it on the other shoulder it works quite well so and again I will mostly work with the tip and I gently Go over the cat. Okay, let's look at it. Carefully, it's still a bit hot. If you do that, but largely it is already on. I will go just a little bit more. I see the ears and the front paw and I also go a little bit over the tail just in order to work it a bit more and as you can see oh, the head is not quite on yet so we need to work a, a bit more on this jersey I was too optimistic so quite hot but we're there this cat is not moving anymore. So, next one solved. Let's look at the next one. Maldini features heavily in this video. Uh, Milan even more. Um, what I just did, and you saw probably the quick uh, video here, 
I just ironed over the name and the number. They were actually quite stable, but what I didn't like is that if you look here at the Maldini font, it's a little bit broken. It actually looks a lot better now. But what we're gonna try to make more beautiful now is, um, do you see the wrinkles in the Bwin logo? I have a picture where it actually becomes more serious. And this is stuff that you can iron out if you do it nicely. So here you probably can, yeah, here you can see now the wrinkles very, very, very nicely. So let's take care of that, fortunately, but I will still try to iron over. The Tre Solo Perte logo is still in pretty good shape. So again, let's dress it. This time we put the number below. We're looking at the front. Again, we dress the ironing board. I wanna see, I wanna get the Tres Solo Perte as well. And we're gonna do the same thing as before. Let me move it, that's probably better this way. The sheet and um, I really, really recommend put the sheet over the, uh, if you can, put the sheet over the entire area that you wanna iron. And let's now very, thoroughly iron the B-Win logo. It will not, I don't expect it to be get all the wrinkles out, but I expect it to look a whole lot better. The other thing that I, let me take it off, we have to wait, we have to let it cool just a little bit. So, again, let's go over each letter individually. I try to not iron over the crest. And now that Tre Solo Perte logo. Just to give it a little bit more adhesion to the shirt. One more time. So I put the iron away. Unfortunately, the cable is not so long enough. Oh, otherwise, I will put the iron here. And now this still sticks a little bit. So we have to very carefully, we have to let it cool a little bit and then very carefully remove it. And it's still kind of hotish. Super, super. And yes, it looks a whole lot better already. It's not perfect. Much, much, much better. I will probably try one more time. Maybe I can get some wrinkles here in the W out. I wanna try. I feel daring today. I mean, all what you're doing here is basically, since this is plastic and plastic melts under the heat, and the shirt is also, I mean, more or less glorified plastic. You basically, with the heat, you try to have them melt into each other, which is also what the heat press, in a way, does. So, let's Carefully, I go this time from the other side. You see here, it doesn't stick now. It only sticks where I actually put it. Oh yeah, that was worth it. I think on the end you cannot see anything anymore and the W was not really in a winning position, so to say, but let me take it off. Do you see the difference? I mean, there is, this looks almost pristine again. Not perfectly, but we've taken care of the biggest wrinkles. So I have two more shirts that I wanna attack and then a third one that I keep as a special for very, very, very last because that's gonna be a whole other work and I don't know how it will work out. Next patient.
um, is this 98-2000 Real Madrid home jersey. Uh, there's per se nothing really wrong with that except that the sponsor, the T here, the top was coming off. Um, it really came all the way off. Um, but again, I used fabric glue, which is <laughs> not the smartest thing. And you can actually, and I probably I ruined it more than I fixed it because you can now feel where the glue is and it adheres. It's, it, it's, it's stuck to the jersey, but at least the jersey looked fixed. So um, you can see, let's go for the Tekka. You can see that, you know, the edge here is coming off uh, quite significantly. I actually liked sponsors like these for a long time because I thought they will, they have a longer shelf life. No, not necessarily, especially if you wear jerseys a lot. Although this one has not been worn all that uh, often. And especially if you wash them not very nicely. So let's look at this Tekka sponsor, how we can Tackle that one. I mean, E, K, and A are fine. It's just this big T over here. Let's see how it will work for that. Again, I'm not expecting a huge improvement here, but I'm expecting that it will knock you a little bit longer onto the really beautiful jersey. I love jerseys that are that. Uh, sparky and I have to say for a Real Madrid jersey this is almost almost the ideal the ideal would be if it was pure white to me so let's again over oh, since this is a thicker material I expect that I need to apply a little bit more pressure I am doing this really now uh, just by feeling not really knowing what I'm doing I freely admit but I hope that I get a little bit the wrinkles out of this upper line and that the whole thing sticks much better to the jersey I don't expect it though to be all perfect so again carefully this one sticks better and wouldn't you know it this is flat I'm very happy <laughs> I'm very happy that this works. This makes me not daring. I want to try a few more things that I will also document here in this video. But I'm very optimistic. Maybe I'll go a little bit over that one after this video, but this looks very, very good. This is almost smooth now. So very happy about that one. Okay, next patient I have. Fortunately, I have to say this one is almost clinically dead. Nesta. 13. Again, this is not the original print, so this is one reason why this one is in really bad shape. The other one is, I love this jersey. This is the 0607 Milan home jersey, uh, where the B-Win actually is in pretty good shape, I have to say when I look at it. But you can always see the 13 here is everything, but do you see how this is coming off? This is what I want to try to fix now. I want to actually get the number. To be honest, I would like to get this jersey without uh, numbers. The numbering style here doesn't look all that wrong. It's not, the, as I said, it's not the original one, but it doesn't look all that wrong. But that number is in about as bad a shape as it can get. So let's try to fix that one. So again, same trick. And probably I will have to apply some I have to research if there are other ways that I can fix this, uh, the broken numbers here and so on. It's just an absolute mess and I wish I would have known that a little bit sooner because I really would like to wear this jersey a lot more often. There is my sheet, here it is. I am mostly going to go over the number but I'm also covering here Nesta because I want to go over the Nesta part too. So, Let's get the iron. And again, make sure here the sheet ends. So, and on a white jersey, this is kind of hard. And now I'm going over the three, trying to give it as much area, surface area as I can get. And if you think uh, 
that you don't want to try it because you've never done it before. Uh, honestly, this is my first time. All the short journeys that I'm doing today is more or less the first time that I'm doing it myself. So, you know, go ahead, try first on jerseys there where you think it's not as bad. And if you get a result, you know, you can only get a better result. And now I'm gonna go over the nest. I can see already how things are a little bit sticking to the sheet, so that's always a good sign. And I would imagine that if you want to put on numbers on your jersey, you would do it in a very similar manner. The first time I tried to apply patches, it didn't work all that well out, so I have to try this again. Buy a patch and reapply it. So, one more go over it. I'm starting here on the lower edge. And it is well attached. It is still sticky, so I'm gonna hang this jersey now. But yeah, do you see now? It is attached. But okay, so here's the final jersey for the day. And yeah, this is the one that I didn't plan on, but I really wanna try whether I can fix something. This is the jersey that taught me don't wash it warm because my mother washed it too warm. And what happened? The crest not only discolored slightly, which is not that bad. I mean, it's just a lighter blue, but you see it's kind of wrinkled. I think this can iron out. The other thing is, and I think this will be much harder, is you see the color is too wrinkled. So I want to try to actually straighten out the color too. That I think will be a much harder task, but I want to start with the crest. And then let's go in. This is actually a nine, you know, 1990 jersey, so there's a little bit of cotton in there, which may or may not work in my favor now. I also see what may or may not work in my favor is that I can put it like that on the... This could work for the collar quite nicely. I know my mom said she can iron it out or whatever, but I said, no, don't touch it anymore. That was 20 years ago. So let's see. Fingers crossed. Okay, now the problem is that I used the side of the nester print, so I have a little bit of nester on there. That is not what I intended to do. So yeah. Okay, I think I'm a bit succe I'm successful with straightening this out. I'm mad at the, the put the number here on the 13 on there. I mean, you see it only a little bit. I hope with a little bit of washing this will come out. This is when you're not experienced. Shit like that happens. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, the logo. If we look at it from before, the logo looks actually quite good now. Not perfect, but I would say quite good. But do you see the slight marks now on the front of the jersey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's not that visible. I know it's there because I see it right here, but yeah. That is something, yeah, maybe that will come off. I have to see what I can do here. Uh, maybe it's some stain solution. Let's try the color. So what that taught me is if you take baking sheet and you work on numbers since they glue on, and you're learning here with me, take a new sheet, turn the sheet around. But better take a new sheet. I think it's probably the best solution to the whole problem. So, I worked on the color. I go over the crest once more. 
just for good measure because that actually I think did really a good job. Really nice to look at. I have to say this looks promising. This looks promising. I was about to go over with the not perfect but at least promising and I want to go especially with the Italian flag trims and what I want to also tell you is I learned this the other way uh, a few months ago that if you get such a, a Italy jersey the non-player versions and this surprised me the most the non-player versions have the Italy flag turned around where the red meets the blue the player version have green on blue and of course don't have the manufacturer logo Diodora on there, which is another uh, pretty interesting detail. I'm turning the shirt around. So I fixed one thing, I broke one thing. Well, cannot win them all. You hear that I'm booked. <laughs> well, that. So... I think I'm somewhat successful here. If I do this a few more times, we might get there. So, hot. Final result. The color is pretty much straightened out. Probably should be from the other side as well, but. look at it now that looks presentable as opposed to before and the crest is kind of flat so i would call it somewhat a success let me go over the sleeve curves as well but i will do this outside of this video so yeah this is these are my little adjustments to fix more broken jerseys, wrinkly crests, uh, logos coming off and so on. If you have anything you want to add to this video, please let me know. I would be very curious about that. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this or anything else that I'm doing on my channel. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!